Hello everyone, Eknoff here and welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. This time we will be going on our way to get all the stuff we need. Um, and there's an, someone in here. What do you got to say? Alright, this guy. Um, we want to buy his painting. 30,000 gold? It's expensive, but we do want to buy it. For various reasons. Um, we're going to leave this house. First thing we're going to do is we're going to save. Because it's going to be dangerous if we don't. To be honest. We really do need a save. Um, there's some pretty dangerous stuff in this area. And we could die very easily. Alright. Right, Miso is not cheap in this game. It's eighty thousand gold. Um, there's a chest here, and what does it have in it again? Copy patch. Copy patch. Um, has an interesting effect. All right, no one's just nimble as a ninja. Well, that's all great and all, but that's not what I'm interested in. Um. Right, it must be here. Nagazuki. We want to look at all the stuff that we're getting. Oh, that's a very unique picture. This is a very decent piece of armor, however. It's for a character we don't have yet. And you can, a lot of you are like, oh, so we're getting that character. And some of you might be like, wait, there's no more characters in this game. If you've played other versions of this game, that might be true. I don't remember which version, um, I know one version didn't have the final character in it. But there's one other character in this game that, um, you can get and we'll and part of this part of what we're doing is about getting that character you can probably guess who it is it's not it's not really a big surprise did we really get hit by that or I'm gonna try something that's dark blade you have to be in critical condition to use that. And there's a lot of hits to it. Like that guy didn't even survive the first hit. It's too bad Chester went down in that because this was a mess. However, there's no point in trying to revive him right now. We're just gonna have to destroy this guy. Um, yeah, so you just saw Dark Blade for the first time, and it's pretty powerful. That's actually the first time I've seen it. I've never actually had an opportunity to pull it off before. Because it's, it's difficult and dangerous to try pull that move off. You may deal a ton of damage. We level up and gain new spells, etc. Um, and I need to use a life bottle. Don't worry, um, we'll be probably... We'll need stuff in this area of the menu anyway. Um, I also want to swap out um, Claws for Archie because, well, Archie's playing out better than Claws. Here we will get a question mark sword. I'm going to be honest. 
this well let's actually save the, doing this stuff for when we have something else although we will use a holy bottle so we don't run into as many enemies no point in risking our lives too much in here this area outside the village is um has quite a few very good items it also has a new spell for Archie Um, throw judgment out in the back. Right, I shouldn't even be... Of course she uses it in the front, because I didn't make her cast quick enough. However, their general ca their low level quick casts won't actually be able to hurt her. And she'll just use judgment a whole bunch and blow them to smithereens. That run back was unnecessary, but whatever. Um, right. This is probably one of the most important areas for a while. Because I don't even know what everything is or where everything is in this area. Right, um, up here we have m Mask, which is a piece of equipment we can't even use yet. It's always yet. We can't use something yet. Um, Yep, um, even if I get paralyzed. Alright, that went perfectly. Just as I wanted it to. See, if they actually get you, it's a problem. But if you blow them off, it's not a problem. And, you know, you can take a hit or two without getting paralyzed, but if you get paralyzed, that's when it starts to get messy. Because they'll ignore you at that point. Um, right, there's nothing there. It's to the south that there's... Yeah, there's a chest to the south. A question mark book. And I think that's all for this particular part of this. Um, I'm going to have Archie... Cast Indignation in the back for a change. And I don't need to use Beast, I need to be using um, Light Blade. And she hits everyone with it, because that's the sensible thing to do, hit everyone. You see, the problem with Judgment, with um, typical casting, is that it hits the wrong enemies. And Pow Pow Hammer is very effective at doing what it just did, and um, knocking enemies out. Although Mint can have incredibly powerful moves. That, well, one of her moves is one I realized that she has a move that I've never actually used with her. She, she doesn't have it yet, but. She's a move that I've never had her use, even, and it's, yeah, it's a big TP consuming move, but I realized that's a super powerful move. Why have I never used it? Probably because I never knew about it. Anyway, this leads us back to the ninja village, and that's all great, but there's another side to go to, and we want to go there, and we want to go explore everywhere we can in this area. Up here we yet. Ebony wood. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with that. I can't remember. It may just be something that you collect in the game. Over here... Hey, it's a spell book. Archie has learned Earthquake. Which is great. That's a new spell. 
it's a powerful spell. Um, and if we go south, there should be one last thing. We get the crystal rod. This is effectively the best weapon for mint in terms of power. However, we don't attack with mint. And I'm pretty sure attack doesn't actually affect the effectiveness of her of her spells. So we don't need that. And I'm gonna throw up another holy bottle. And we're gonna go back into the ninja village. Um where we're going to go into our items and it's ruin bottle time. First thing I want to do is use that, get a pineapple gel. Um, well I'd love to do the lavender. There's more important things. Um, I want to have at least one chrono glass, so we've got that on record. Um, can't do anything with any of that stuff. Um, there's definitely stuff that I can do stuff with. Um, like we can make the princess cape. Jet boots. Um, can't mess with any of the summon rings. We've already got a force ring. We've got a reflect ring, we've got a reverse doll. We've got Moon Crystal and Black Onyx, they just change it to each other. Um, I don't know if we have the mist, Magic Mist, um, but we got it now. Those are a bunch of... That's a longbow, we don't have to worry about it now. Um, we've got Fury Rings. All this stuff. And there's something... Like, okay, what's this axe? Strike Axe, Strike Axe is pretty terrible. This is the Doom Blade. You see that power? That's how powerful it is. That's why it's the third most powerful weapon in the game. It's arguable about what the, which of the two weapons above it is more powerful, but it's the third most powerful. We also have a question mark book, Seven Sons. Not Claus is the most powerful book, but it's a powerful one nonetheless. Um. I believe with the jet boots we can change them into back into the iron boots. No, nope, that I was thinking of a different set of boots. Okay. That's that. And I believe we changed this into a lemon gel, yep. That's just me wasting things. We have actually got quite a bit of time left. Anyway, um That was quite a successful venture. Um I believe we missed an opportunity to talk to Suzu about something? Never mind. Anyway, we na even though we have that Doom Blade, we need a light weapon for what we're going to do ahead. And to be honest, I can't guarantee that we're going to succeed in what we're doing. We'll be coming back to this village soon enough. Alright. Where would we like to go? Um, we want to go to the entrance of Ymir. Um, because we're going to occlude, occlude, and I can't guarantee that everything that I'm going to win. And well, I actually don't care who's in my party right now because we're flying over to occlude, occlude. Hey, what the heck's over here? Huh. And you? Do you sell me a skill book? Oh no no, you're just um... Alright, you can get a book from them either in the past or the future, right. Because they're elves, they've lived that long. I believe we can get a recipe from here, but that's not really a priority right now. I'll go around getting recipes later. If we go to Ekluid... If we go to the castle, um, we should probably talk to 
people that are around. Alright, um... Right. Um, what do you get to say? <laughs> right. Yeah, that is pitiful. Um, we can also... I also know that we can get a recipe on the top floor of this place. I don't know if we got it. But, um, what we want to do... And this is a tough one. Is... Actually, I want to leave and save. Because I want to actually win. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I lose. It's not that big a deal. But we want to. Um, okay, this is going to be very important. You're only going to be using Chris from this point out. We've got we've got him in the best armor we can have him in. We've got his best shield that we can have right now. We've got his mithril gauntlets, and I will be relying heavily on the holy symbol and the fairy ring. Because we're going to need our TP. Right. And we have a Chrono Glass just in time. Just in case. Where's my healing items? Orange gels. Yeah, it's worth that. So, what's happening? We need to enter, enter the tournament. Now, I haven't actually gotten any clues. Right, we don't have any of our personal recovery items, except magic lenses, hourglasses, I believe chrono lenses, chrono glasses. So we should have those. Yeah, Chris is entering the tournament. There's a number of fights coming up. And some of them are very, very difficult. Some of our key moves will be Lightning Tiger Blade. Well, Lightning Tiger Dance or whatever it is. Um, Lightning Tiger Blade plus Swallow Dance combination move. Beast. Yeah, that's about it. That That's what we've got. And um, I will also... Right, he's talking about where we're from. Albane saw. Yeah, we're on a quest to defeat Deus. Okay, this is gonna start off easy. We're gonna. Okay, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this stuff. It's a typical arena. Time for the first monster. It's a bugbear. Okay, this is gonna start off easy. It doesn't end easy. Simply put, um. I don't want to be using Light Spear. Well, I want Demon Fang on that. Beast Swallow Kick? Um, I don't want Beast Swallow Kick. I want... I don't think I, I, don't think I want Phoenix Dance, but... I don't really know what I can actually use well in this situation. Inspiration, there. It's not going to get much use, but... Also, let's check out our items. Because, um... We've got our Hourglasses and our Chrono Glass. I have no qualms with using a Chrono Glass in some of the fights ahead. But the Bugbear... He's not a challenge at all. <laughs> yeah, the first one, easy. Easy as. Later enemies, not so much. Especially the last two enemies. The last two enemies are where it gets really tough. Well, sort of. The last three, four enemies. It's a squid. What we want to do in this case is actually use Demon Fang. Or is it? Or do we just want to use Lightning Tiger Blade? Lightning Swallow Kick, that's it, that's what it is. Yeah, um, avoid getting too hurt in that. And even though we use a lot of TP, like, that's not the one that we need to use, um, Demon Fang against, it's another one. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting my things mixed up. 
Um, right, there's another enemy that Demon Fang works really well against. But this can be quite, um, some of these can actually be quite deadly, especially a late monster in this. Another enemy that we're probably best off using, um... I don't know if Demon Fang's very effective in this fight or not. Yeah, it seems to be working. I can't see the enemy, they're not moving towards me, they're just taking damage. Sometimes it's better to do this because <laughs> it's not worth going near the enemy. And I finished it with a lightning swallow kick just for style. Just for style points. We get a bunch of experience, and a little bit of gold, and we grow stronger, yeah. Not really, but you know. I think we've leveled up at least once in this fight. Um, now Monster 4. Monster 4 is a Roper. We don't want to get near this guy. Right, this is the one that you have to, that you should very much use Demon Fang on. I mean, you can fight it without, but it's not worth it. It's not worth getting close to this thing. Yeah, see, and it doesn't take all that much. It took 8 Demon Fangs to kill. How do I know that? Because I looked at how much TP I lost. I think this is where it gets tough. Monster number five, is this what I think it is? Oh no, it's this guy. Um, the Draco Knight. This guy's not that big a deal. Yeah, he's not that big a deal. I mean, we killed him with ease. I think it's... Is it number six that's tough? Because, like, I don't remember how many monsters I have to fight. I know I have to fight a fair few, but... I don't remember the exact number. Um, monster number six. Oh, this is just this guy, so not all that tough. Um, he also dies basically instantly. Lightning Swallow Kick's damn good. And it's especially cheap in this situation. Are we now onto the tough ones? Because this gets tough after a while. I'll be honest. Well, two of these enemies can be... Ha I have very easily... Ah, here he is. The sick, this is the second and the last one. Okay, I had to make a slight cut there. The intercom came on and, well, it was annoying and loud. I didn't need to subject you to that. Um, this is tough. We're gonna need to actually just... Oh, crap. Come on, come on. This is not exactly an easy fight. Um, We need to do this combination over and over again. Yeah, um, you can very easily die during this. Whew. And that's not even the dangerous one. That's the pleasant, easy one. That is the easy one. Right. This is where it gets tricky. This enemy has one can instant kill you or instant beat you. You guessed it, it's a basilisk type enemy. Gazer King. What I am going to do is I am gonna swap out Beast for Sword Rain. Simply put, Sword 
Um, am I... No, I just need apple gel. Right, and I want my, um... I want my... I want to heal, but there's only a limit to what I can do. Shit, I'm not in good condition for the next fight. I know I said that was the last fight, but... God damn it, I hope... I don't think I can use all my stuff straight away. And while I'll happily use the Chrono Glass... ...in the fight that's coming up... Yeah, there's a fight coming up, even though we supposedly just won. Yep. Alright. However... It's a pair of ninja. Oh. Right. They're begging you to kill them. Um. Um. Right. Poison's not that big a deal right now. Um, I'd rather be poisoned than... Because I can actually counter poison with simply the holy symbol. I just gotta deal as much damage to these guys as I can as quickly as possible. This is going incredibly smoothly. Sword Rain really is the best for this. Holy crap, I didn't think I could actually beat them this easily. Okay, that was a really easy run of that fight. Like, so easy it's not funny. Normally they're jumping all over the place using substitution. Sword Rain's broken. Or at least for that fight it is. I've heard people, I've seen on the internet people using all these kinds of strategies. Now just get over them and Sword Rain the shit out of them. It works. Except that they were substitutions. Um, I don't think you're invincible, I just think you're... Sneaky. Ah, Suzu shows up. Ah. Uh. Right. And... They choose to kill each other. However, that that said that no, this can't be happening wasn't actually them. Hmm. No. And. We now have another orphan. Well, she still has a grand grandfather, but you know. I still have my uncle, but he's a dick. No. Right. Hmm. Right. Well, isn't that a mess? Yeah. Oh, come on! Well, that's a bit of a sucky conclusion. Yeah, it is pretty terrible. Alright. Uh, yeah, blame Deos. <laughs> Let's always blame Deos. 
Okay, first things first. I'm no longer poisoned, I'm fully healed. We're gonna fly over that way. But first... No more laser blade, doom blade time. Also, seven sun. But, you're not gonna be in the party. And, I'm actually probably going to go a while... As you probably guessed, I'm gonna go a bit longer on this episode, because, well... We have something that we need to do. South still, yep. Yeah, half hours aren't allowed beyond this point. Right. Um, I'm gonna throw up a. as usual. Holy bottle. And we're gonna make our way through here as quickly as we possibly can. Don't know why I even put claws out of the party, because I should have known this would happen. Right. As you can see, um, Claws dealt over 2,000 damage in one of those hits. Yeah. He's dealing a lot of damage. And a Demon Fang's effective as well. Um, we still need to have Light Spear available. Because we need to actually master that. What did I have on here before? Um, beast Swallow Kick and... I think I had Beast on here before. Because it's actually really good. It's strange to use Light Spear with the most powerful dark weapon that Chris has. At his disposal. Yeah, we've kind of been getting a lot of new powerful gear for characters. One side thing that we're still fairly lacking on, though, is armor. Or at least on some characters. Some characters have some of the best armor in the game. Well, I think, um... Who has... Someone has the shield ring. I think that's probably Chester. We want to save here, because, well... We just did some amazing stuff, and if we die, it's gonna be annoying as heck to get back... ...from our last save point. I mean, not too annoying, but fairly annoying, you know? And we want to get back to Ninja Village. It's not a long way, we know the way, um, I especially know the way. Because I've had to do this a few times. Because to be honest, I've died a few times. Right. North. 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 East? No, West. Fight. And I'll be practicing light spear on these enemies who aren't particularly weak to dark. This is probably the one side down. This is probably the biggest. The, probably the biggest downside of a dark type weapon is very few enemies are actually weak to it. Yeah, isn't that kind of sad? Um, we'll get a much more powerful weapon soon. Um, well, we'll get the most powerful, the two most powerful weapons soon enough, but not quite right away. So yeah, that's gonna be a bit off from now. Um, however, that's not all that important. We're just gonna get back to the ninja village and not get attacked by giant, by evil, evil bugs. Or at least not die to them. Because there's something for us here. Yeah, yeah, um, Archie comes back here as well. 
This is going to be a fairly long episode because there's a few things to deal with. Hmm. Yeah. Couldn't agree more with you. Let's go see her. See her and the chief. Right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's this message. Right. Hmm, I wonder who this swordsman was. Right, was this guy roughly 67 years old? Maybe a little older, you know? I'm having to guess that's how old he was. Hmm. So meet our last party member, Suzu. You probably already guessed this much, but yeah. We now have a ninja in our party. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Welcome, Suzu, to the party. Alright. Yeah, that, that sounds nice. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Chester, you've got a heart. Somehow, some fangirl is imagining some amazing yaoi scene right now. <laughs> if you know what that means. Hmm. Yeah. And... Phew. <laughs> as you can tell, this game isn't exactly biased. Archie's just as bad as, um, Chester. She says, received the new title. <laughs> Meet Suzu, she's now a new party member. Okay, let's go... There's our basics. Suzu's skills that she has now. She has mirror image, creates dub... And mirror gem of self double damage against enemies. Secret Thief steals an item from enemies. Crow blade, drop from above, and shadow storm. There's kind of an escape move. Okay. <clears throat> and as for her equipment, she currently has the boat on, which isn't all that great. She's got this, which we can replace with this straight away, which is much better. We can give her a mask. Um, that for now is fine. I can't remember. I don't know what's exactly best for her, but, um. Yeah, I'd say. So now let's give her a warrior symbol and something else. I don't know what I use on her towards the end of the game, but um...
I'll just say this, um, she is a very... She's actually a fairly strong character. She's different from the other characters though, so yeah. I'll give her the Thief's Cape for that extra evasion. She has very high evasion, um, and quite high attack. Right, um, I also want to change the formation, because I'm going to need to get used to using Suzu. As the frontline character, as this, because there was something mentioned. A certain set of trials, a cave of tribulation. We'll probably do that sooner or later, and yeah. I'll see you then. My name's been Akinoff, I hope you had a good time, and good night, or something like that, anyway. Next time, we'll show off Suzu a bit and get to know how to use her, etc., etc. Because she plays very differently from Chris, even though she's the other sorts person in the game. See you then.